Good morning, everybody. This is Santos Arroyo, founder and CEO of the Florida Hispanic American Chamber of Commerce. And we welcome you to our show, Empresarios Unidos Florida. And we have the opportunity to be talking to Mr. David Rees. Mr. David Rees is the Community Relations Director for Land Infotech and the president of the South Florida Network, National, National South Network chapter, and also a member of our Florida Hispanic American Chamber of Commerce leadership team. And we welcome you, David, to our program. How are you today? I am fine. Thank you for having me, Santos. I greatly appreciate this opportunity to tell people about what we're doing down here in beautiful South Florida. I know we're still number one leading in the pandemic with all our disobedient people that we have, but we're still working hard despite those that don't want to abide by the rules, but we're still doing it. But I do have my mask available and ready to roll. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, David, tell us a little bit about your background. Um, what do you do? No problem. Well, right now I'm currently working for a company called Land Infotech. I am the community relations director and my role is to brand the land message throughout South Florida. And basically what we do is my boss and I and my one of my colleagues, we help focus on what we call IT managed services. These are services that you use what I call behind the computer. So when a computer is set up, you use maybe AT&T or Comcast to get your internet. Well, that internet becomes vulnerable once it gets to your computer. So we make sure we put in the proper firewalls, we put in the proper um, what we call managed software, such as the antivirus software. And then also we look to make sure that we teach you how to not get fished so that we can protect your data and information. It is critical to understand the importance of that. Our hackers, especially now with the uh, election season coming in, they're looking to get in to try to steal your data and information. The, baddest thing, the bad thing about that is if you wait till after it happens, it's usually too late. So our job is to do preventive maintenance. We also focus heavily in the nonprofit space. We help nonprofits find grants for free. And just recently, we have a program that we're doing to help our nonprofits with virtual fundraising. We do the back office for you. So if you're a nonprofit, 501c3, you may want to get in contact with us so we can at least help you manage your business from the standpoint of fundraising since a lot of our nonprofits have taken a hit. Awesome, awesome. That's a good work and very much needed at this time in, you know, uh, uh, that we're living in that everything is going over the internet and using technology every day. So it's very important to keep people safe, you know, from, from the hackers and all those viruses. You know, we have we have double viruses now. <laughs> yeah, viruses right. affecting people <laughs> and affecting technology. So very good, very good. Crazy <laughs> times. So David, um, as the president of the National Sales Network, what is the objective of the organization? What's the, what is the mission, the vision, you know, the purpose of it? Well, the purpose of the National Sales Network is to help minority individuals get sales jobs in the pharmaceutical and medical device industry. But recently, because of what's been happening with the pandemic, we've also changed our format a little bit to go after people to put in technology. We recognize that in South Florida, we don't have a big a plethora of the pharmaceutical and medical device companies, but we still have to try to encourage people to join our organization. And so I've also got very creative in that space by helping our nonprofit, not nonprofit, but helping our uh, businesses to realize the talent that we bring to the table. So we focus heavily in that space. The main objective, of course, as I said, is to help train you to be the best salesperson that you can be. So we do a lot of things in our on our work webinars. We also do networking meetings. Now, right now, because of the pandemic, we have been uh, stymied a little bit. And so we're doing all our networking via Zoom. So if you'd like to get more information on that, we are having every third Thursday of the month, I do a Zoom speed networking event, courtesy right. of the chapter. So that way you can get in, talk about what you do, and you know, tell people how we can get in contact with you. 
because of this pandemic, I was able to create the Entrepreneurial Committee. And the Entrepreneurial Committee is a bunch of entrepreneurs that are out there just trying to get their brand out to our people. It is important that they have a venue that they can take advantage because right now they can't go out face to face. So these are the two things that we're doing to help meet those objectives. Oh, by the way, we also work with our youth in our college program that we have. So the college high school seniors and some juniors, and of course, 50 year seniors, we have a program through the National Sales Network called the National Student Conference. This event is usually done in person out of Atlanta, but this year, because of the pandemic, we are doing it virtually. And instead of doing it in September, we have moved it out to October. This is a great opportunity for your high school, not high school, college seniors to get some job recruitment opportunities. We're going to probably have around 40 to 50 um, companies they are looking to interview talent. So that's kind of what we do from that perspective. We're always, we're partnering with other uh, organizations like the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're also working with other uh, minority groups such as the uh, Brazilian Business Group. And then of course, working with the Black MBAs and the Urban League of um, Broward County. So we look at focusing those players in an environment of safe learning and development. How many chapters do you guys have? Uh, we have now 20, 20 chapters nationwide. And of course, you can go to the NSN website and it's uh, at National Sales Network. And uh, you can go right there and you'll see all 20 chapters that we have. We have Philly, we have New York, we have uh, Chicago, we have Houston, San Francisco, of course, South Florida, Orlando, just to name a few. Awesome. And David, what, what's your advice at this time to our small business owners? Um, what could they do to uh, well, stay, you know, uh, doing good, making okay. some money and, at, at this time? Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure you're applying for those PPP loans. Definitely make sure you're getting all that loans and all the stuff that the government has put in place to take advantage. That would probably be your first and fastest track. The next thing I would do is find other groups that are like yours to partner with to find what I call best practices. It's important to have those best practices so that you don't make the same mistakes. And usually you can help each other in that same space because entrepreneurs think differently and they have a different mindset that they must address. So I feel comfortable in saying the fact that if you work together, you can stay together and develop together. So that's my two points that I would take right now. Of course, the last one I think is critical is networking. Do not stop networking because your business is down. Uh, be exact. This is a great time to help promote your brand. If you can be creative, I know a couple of the organizations that partner with us as NSN offering me uh, free certificates to give out when I'm doing my uh, virtual uh, speed networking. So that way they can then patronize your restaurant. You don't have to go there, but you can utilize the coupon and pick up mm -hmm. maybe a pickup delivery or something like that. It's critical that if you're in the restaurant or hospitality industry, that you get very creative on how to keep your doors open without letting people in to get um, the, the, get sick. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Levy, for that. And what new projects uh, are you working on? And how can uh, those those interested join you? In okay, so, so let me at least give you that piece. So you can reach us at the National Sales Network of South Florida or NSN South Florida, and you can look us up that way. And once you see our link, I have a newsletter that I send out every month uh, talking about what events that we're doing and what's gonna be happening in, within the chapter. We also do an update on what's going on with Corona here in South Florida, as well as reminding people, don't forget to vote, as well as don't forget to fill out your census. So those are the things that we're doing. Uh, my chapter in particular, we're focusing heavily right now on getting the word out about your business and how we can make it a difference. So if you definitely want more information, uh, I am looking for volunteers. It does cost $150 to be a member, uh, but we are definitely looking at ways that we can work around to get you engaged so that you can take advantage of what we're offering. Very nice. Well, David, thank you very much for your time. No, uh, thank always you. a pleasure to, to, to see you and to talk to you. Excellent. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward that uh, once this pandemic is over to 
get back to work hard and get together and, and well, I'm hoping that we'll be back together by Christmas time because I love your Three Kings program. That Three Kings <laughs> program, you. I love, I love those Three Kings, man. <laughs> I, 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 yes, <laughs> yes, I love it, I love it. So that that's a good thing, and kind of miss that kind of stuff. So I look forward to us getting back together again. Please give my love to your family. Stay safe. Let your members know we're here to help you grow your business. Thank you, and also we want to thank uh, our sponsor for this uh, segment of the uh, Empresarios Unidos Florida, the law office of Craig Golden Farb. And we'll see you around, David. Have a great right. day. Thank you very much. You too. Take care. Thank you again Bye -bye. for your time. Bye-bye.